Well, here is my small shop, and this is where I do uh, the shaping with the French wheel and some of the stem work. Um, I'm going to show you the setup I have here. Uh, some of you may not be familiar with uh, French wheel, but really, just electric motor. And this is an adapter I have. And then this is just a sandpaper wheel. Also, my uh, buffing pads fit on here. I just take this off, so then I do my buffing here as well. But this is the J. Allen uh, French wheel. I think I would like to get a little different French wheel, a flat one, but this one has been working pretty good. Um, it makes it easy uh, because I have multiple grit, so then I can switch out from this grit to a higher grit. And then, of course, I just have a little belt sander for roughing in stems. And then here I have, um, I think what this originally was designed for, this kind of this little uh, machine here, was for cutting um, beads or for drilling beads. Something like that. But it actually works really good for cutting the slot on stems. And I'll show you how I use this in a minute. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, some of the, I used to cut my stems with um, stem cutting rod, and it's, what it is, it's just like a, a thin wire with teeth on it. I used to do it that way, um, I tried a few different ways, this way is just so easy, and plus I'm not selling my pipes for six, seven hundred, you know, dollars each, so for me, I want to make it quick um you know cutting the slot this cuts a beautiful v slot i'll go ahead and show you how i use this and so i have the pipe here so what i did is i marked where i'm going to have my slot cut i have the line so i know kind of what's going to be the top and then i just took this cheap little tool here just to mark, you know, so the uh, slot is cut even distance on both sides. So this, then I just kind of go around and I know both sides. I'm going to have the center, well, centered. And then here are my stop lines for my cut. So I'll go ahead and take the stem off. And I'm going to try to position this so I don't get in the way. Okay, there's two little slots, two little V's here that will capture this. And then where this blue mark is, in the center, this is where my V is going to start. So I position it where I want my V to be. And I tighten that down. And this little drill bit here I got from Raw Crafted. And there's a side cutting bit. This makes it um, so that it cuts really well. I want to kind of go back and forth like this. So I'll go ahead and start this up. All right, first I'll... Check the alignment, looks good. Loosen that up. And now you can see I cut a really nice V slot. 
and just took a couple minutes. Then what I'll do when I'm, um, you know, doing the finish work on the stem is I have these long uh, church warden um, pipe cleaners, and I put triple E powder or triple E wax on this. Triple E wax is a, a buffing wax. Then I'll actually thread this through. And I usually kind of save this for kind of the last part because I'm going to go in and clean up, clean this up now. But see, now I can uh, actually, if I can get this fed through. So now this allows me to come in and buff the inside, you know, with the triply. And you get a really nice, smooth um, air hole in the stem and then the v-slots all polished on the inside that helps so you don't get as much of the gurgling where the moisture catches on um, kind of the rough surface but that's how I kept my v-slot okay now I'm getting ready to start actually shaping the pipe and you can see here I've put the pipe back together I like to shape you know with the stem on um, I'll go ahead and do some rough shaping on the stem uh, when I'm done shaping the pipe. And then of course I align so the slot and everything lines up. And you'll notice uh, down here, this is hooked up to my vacuum system. Here, let me move this around. This is a total low cost way. I need to get a better uh, dust system. But right now, right down here, is my vacuum system that hooks in to the bottom of this and reduces the dust on this portion of pipe making which is definitely the dustiest part Let's see if i can get the camera adjusted here so it kind of captures the shaping of the pipe but um I'll go ahead and I'll speed this up because I'm going to be probably shaping here for about a half an hour. So I'll speed this way up and every once in a while kind of pick it up, show the progress. And of course, when you're, whenever you're working with briar or any kind of woods, you know, safety glasses and a good filtration system or a good um, uh, dust mask. This is actually a really, really good uh, 3M one. I have experimented with some lower cost, like uh, RZ masks. These were big for a while. Um, here's the RZ mask. I was using this. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was using this RZ mask. After working on stems and wood and, you know, where I have fine dust, dust I would have dust caked on my face inside the mask. It's a really cool idea and I, it may be good for certain applications, but um, if you're doing a lot of woodwork, I would go with like a high quality 3M mask. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, turn on the French wheel now in the vacuum system.
Okay, got the got the basic shaping in. Now I'm gonna switch grits and refine it. Okay, I'm making some progress on this now. And what I'm doing now is going in with a higher grit. So we'll get a little video of uh, kind of fine tuning the shape and I'll speed this up of course, but here's the Danish eggs so far.
Okay, I think I have the shape roughed in enough that now I can take it to files. Well, what I'll do next is roughen the stem, and in the next video, I'll show that. Okay, now I'm going to start roughing in the stem. Okay, now I have the stem roughed in. I still need to take a lot of material off, but that's kind of the bulk of it. So now I'm probably going to move it inside and finish it up with files and sandpaper. <laughs> 